What's up, boys and girls of America and the world? Uh, so, yesterday I just released the water fuel cell injector drawings. Uh, that's all of the drawings, and uh, as well as the bobbin that goes with it. And I want to make this video to briefly um, talk about what I've noticed on these drawings. Um, so I'm just going to kind of talk, hopefully you guys will listen to me, and uh, we'll see where it takes us. The first couple of things I'd like to mention is that on these, you can see up here, this looks like it's been photocopied out of a binder book or something or else you'd have a flat sheet so it looks like this was up in the air when they photocopied it. And you can see it here, it says water fuel cell memo for something 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 something, just like you see in Stan's um, uh, birth of a new technology book. Now, the interesting thing is, what I've noticed is that um, these are all laid this direction on this paper. Um, I don't recall, but I thought in Stan's water fuel cell or water fuel uh, book, birth of a new technology, all the drawings were this direction. And I could be wrong, but I'm thinking they were, and these are all this direction. Now what's interesting is that these numbers, alright, these have like um, figure numbers. So this is 2-4, if I can't see it. 2-4, and um, the actual drawing number here, the figure number, these numbers are already taken in that Birth of a New Technology book. Oh. Thank you. I was hoping that would happen. They got to warm up. <laughs> but uh, those numbers have already been taken. Okay? And um, I thought that was rather interesting. All these drawings already have reference numbers in the birth, of a two the birth of a New Technology book. They're already in there. They're already referenced. So these numbers are duplicates. So I was talking to Dino Don and uh, Don Gable. And uh, he's the one who actually had his hands on this stuff at the estate. And I was talking to him, and he said there was a book up there, well, a whole nother giant book, you know, big book. And uh, there's some pictures of a filing cabinet. It was probably in that cabinet. And it had all sorts of drawings and dimensions and stuff, but they didn't really get a chance to, to grab it like this. Um, and I believe this came out of that book from the original owners now of the estate. Um, I think it trickled down from those people. Um, I don't know, but that's what I'm thinking. And um, so basically, the, the numbers are already taken, and this water fuel memo is actually the numbers that are already made. And uh, check out the drawings. I'm almost positive that, that all the other drawings in the book are this direction, and these are all this direction. And I'm thinking, if that's the case, maybe that's how Stan organized this. All of the water fuel cell memo documents in this direction were those in that book and everything referenced in this direction is out of that other book. I don't know. Anyway, continuing on, um, I wanted to kind of talk to you guys about some of these drawings, um, some of the things I've noticed. Now, before I forget to tell you guys, because um, I will, this length right here is about one inch, and the spacing. This is this is one of the most important things that I've kind of noticed and I'm going to try to bring up to you. The spacing um, in between these two electrodes, the outer casing and the inner, and by the way, the negative is grounded to the outside casing and this casing is grounded to the frame. So the whole frame of the car is grounded with these plugs. Kind of something interesting. Anyway, um, so, the spacing between here, okay, now, everyone has seen my videos on the quenching discs and other things, and one important thing that I've noticed is that on these drawings, the spacing between the electrodes, okay, are exactly twenty thousandths, twenty thousandths of an inch, okay, so the the diameter, and these are polished surfaces, but the diameter is 0 .08 diameter at the tip, and the tip there is 0 .1, so that's 20 thousandths. Okay? 
and then the outside of the rod is 1.67 diameter and the inlet hole diameter is 1.76 so that's 20 thousandths now why is that important well here's the deal there's two reasons why this is important one of the reasons is this is a tapered wave guide. He calls it a voltage wave guide. And it's compression compressing. As it goes to the end, it compresses and compresses and compresses. And when it gets to the end, it's just got this little bitty tiny hole to get out. The diameter is a hundred thousandths, and the rod at the end is uh point zero eight thousandths, so or eighty thousandths. So you've got a twenty thousandths gap around the outside where all this is squeezing down into the middle. Now it's concentric all the way down. All right. But the reason that the 20,000s is important, okay, is because during my testing of the quenching and looking up information on quenching and what is the whole thing about. Basically, the tip of this because it's 20,000s all the way down will not sustain flame. So therefore, if you're breaking down the gases and you've got a high voltage potential here, well guess what? It's not going to be able to ignite until after it gets out. Okay, and that's a very important concept of this injector is that this actually is got to be the right way and compressing as it comes out and when it's released, when it gets out, that's when it ignites. It cannot ignite inside the injector. You see these water spark plug replications and people doing stuff, and that's great. We don't have any other real information about it, but now we do. And that's one of the things that I've noticed that's very, very, very important. Okay, so just keep that in mind. You might be able to take uh, two concentric rods, a uh, tube and a rod, and try to make something work and get that 20 thousandths and push water through it and just make the theory work. You know, you don't have to build this entire thing. Just make the theory work. Um, I don't know if the compression of the cylinder really matters, but you know that's something to think about. Now, there's th that piece. I was talking with my buddy Scott, and that piece is going to be extremely hard to make. These two pieces, where you've got this polished inner cone and this poly polished outer. Now, this piece would be real easy to make, but this inner one, since it's so deep down this cavity. And that's going to be a really, really hard thing for a, a machine shop to do without a special tool. So if anybody comes up with having some machine shop make that, and they've got to make a special tool, let some other people know so we don't have to try to make other tools to make that work. Um, the other thing that I wanted to kind of mention, and this is kind of weird, this ceramic insert and this drawing match. Okay. But, you've got this extra piece. Oh, you've got this extra piece. You've got this extra um, piece out and it kind of fits in there kind of weird. So, you got to kind of look at this and find out what's what and how it actually fits together. Um, I really think that these are separate pieces. You've got to buy the inside or you've got to, you've got to make the inside here but this is the actual finished piece that you see Stan holding and this is the other piece so this or this may not be nothing that was kinda of something I haven't had time to look at very well but that was my thought on that um, all these pieces do make up this entire thing um, the Durlin retaining cap on the end and uh, I mean you've got the whole thing here now the other part is this one this is gonna be a hard one to make and the main reason is because you've got these slots. They're ten thousandths wide by ten thousandths deep. Alright. And does it say how long they are? Uh, ten thousandths deep. Yeah, it's probably on here somewhere you can figure it out. But anyway, uh, I was talking to Scott and without a very, very special tool, that piece is going to be extremely hard to make. Um, so just some thoughts on that. Uh, what else do I got? I really just really wanted to just make sure that you guys knew that the 20,000s was very, very important. There's a real good reason for that. My understanding of it's really good because of the quenching disc research that I've done. Um, these bobbins, 
I will mention this. This is a part number. It's actually a part number. You could look up this company and find this part number. It's actually within embedded within a PDF, but you can't find it. And um, I looked up the 14 mil thick. These are 14 millimeters thick, or mil, excuse me, 14 mil thick. That's a gauge size. And um, I looked at the differences between the different thicknesses. You can get some real thin, thin, thin material, or you can get some real thick material. The thicker the material, the lower the frequency range. So you don't you don't, you don't get it go very high. Um, the thinner the material, the higher the frequency range. If you look up this part number, and I don't have a reference link, you just have to find it. But if you look up that part number, you will actually find the um, the different. I think it's on this. There's different frequencies. I'm not sure. But I um, if let's see before I forget, I'll come back to it. These plates. I'm already having uh, my buddy Alan told you about. He's already got these sourced. Um, waiting on some information on this and. If we end up making an order, I'll let people know. We'll just try to place an order so it's worth our while. I may just get a set, try it, see how it works first. I don't know. Shipping from there is expensive, and that's where the, the problem is. Um, the other thing, really quickly, I did want to mention to you is this piece right here. Okay, this ceramic insert piece. Um, like I said, I'm already having one of these made. It uh, actually should be possibly in Alan's hands by this week and shipped out probably take a couple weeks to get here and the company that's making this is over in China I don't have any references for you I'm sorry but the if we get more of these um, everyone that thinks they want to build something like this I'll try to gather up some information from, from people so we can actually get this piece ordered because if they make a mold we can just order from the mold and it'll be cheap right now they're machining this piece for testing but they will make a mold and just cast these things. So that's the other thing. Um, probably forgetting something. Oh, stainless steel wire. Um, some samples should be coming to me um, again from uh, at where Alan's at, Hong Kong is where he's at, and uh, somewhere over there they actually make a lot of transformers uh, for ignition coils out of 430 FR wire. So he's, I should have those sometime this week, uh, maybe next week, but it's he's sending me, or he got some samples of 30, 30 gauge through 40 gauge, I think. So I'm going to actually match up exactly what we need and buy a spool of this stuff, and then I'll re-spool it for individuals who would like to purchase that. Probably pitch in and buy the spool, you know, pre pre-order, if you will. I don't have any information on it yet, but please join the forums if you'd like to actually have that information and see when it comes. So, let me check my time. Oh yes, 13 minutes. It's going to take all day to upload this one. But I wanted to get those those thoughts out to you guys about the layout of the sheets, uh, the size of the holes, the width, the lengths of the cavities, and um, yeah, that's, that's what I just really wanted to do today. And... Uh, if I look tired, it's because I always, I always make my videos. It's actually right before I'm getting ready to go to bed. And so I'm already, like, you know, in that sleepy mode. So um, I know my buddy Daniel was like, man, you look dead the world. I'm like, I know. It's because I'm ready to go to bed. So anyway, this is Russ. I'm with rwgresearch.com, bringing you, to you everything I possibly can. If you ever cross, come across a piece of uh, valid and important information and you need to get it out there, it seems like people follow a lot of what I'm doing and I should be able to get it out to the public faster than most but we'll see do what you want um, as always get involved where you can take care and um, go to rwgresearch.com for uh, all the information that's being published here right now so take care God bless you all and have a good day have a good weekend